Pyrrhor Tin Studio. The topic is electric fan repair. Hello friends, welcome to the Pyro King Studio. I'm Pyro King. Today we want to share with you that fan troubleshooting and four characteristics. This kind of failure was caused by the damage of a motor starting capacitor. In fact, if the motor starting capacitor is damaged, it can be found before disassembling the machine. This time too, if you know those four characteristics, that will be of great help to repair. Let's see how to solve this problem and see what happens if the motor starting capacitor fails. Here we go! My friend sent me a malfunctioning electric fan. Said that he couldn't find the thermal fields after watching my video. There is an envelope here. What's in it? Let's take a look. Screws removed from the fan. It's okay. I'll lock the screw back. Now I suddenly understand why there is a tap on the fan. Cool, this is a work done by a beauty. In fact, I agree with her. Anyway, it's going to be scrapped. Why don't take it apart and try? Okay, let me check the fan. Connect the power turn on switch. Although the fan is not running, I feel the vibration of the motor. So we will soon know the answer. Rotate the fan blade by hand. The motor shaft is very smooth. Then we know the answer. Turn on the power and flip the fan blade. If the fan starts to run, the starting capacitor is rotting. Okay, this trick is over. But I suggest you watch me fix it. First, we remove the fixing screw, then remove fan. Not that the fixing screws of fans are all left hand screws. Open the junction box. Now we can directly see the starting capacitor. Remove it directly. This capacitor seems to be stuck. Wow, this is a typical bracket. It's deformed and exploded. Look at the cost up. This starting capacitor is worth every penny. Cut wire to take out the capacitor. I regret that the cut is too short. The original capacitor was labeled 3.5 farad. Let's make sure it to see how much is it now. Zero point zero three is very close to zero. There is a three microfarad capacitor here. If there are no other problems, let it replace the original capacitor. If the wire are not cut so short, they can be soldered directly. Now I have to extend the wires. Remove the wire sheets, and then we can solder.
Sadar after print a Hessian tube. Sutter as perfect as possible. Then use a lighter to heat up. Cover the outer cover with junction. Then lock the fixing screws. Seeing the dust. I can help but clean it up. Every time I feel doing this is very comforting. Then we put the fan brakes back in. Give it a try. It's in a very good condition. I surely try it before restoring. Like this pre-installation record, I may not put it in video. So there is no need to ask me why I didn't test it before installing the machine. Now close the cover and next step is to lock the screw. Fixing which tap here should also fall off. I fixed it with hot melt adhesive according to the original design. Make sure this pin must insert it into the holes. We just discovered that this thing caused the fan to malfunction. The reason is this star capacitor. The case of this capacitor has been eroded. Now you can see clearly. Therefore, after replacing the capacitor, the fan returned to normal. Let's test the fan. I unknowingly crumpled the toilet paper into a bowl. Here we go. Awesome, we succeed again. Try a few times, it will succeed. If you don't have time to test, subscribing to Pyroking Studio can also improve your repair ability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time. Oh yeah, this channel is rich in content. Remember to watch it on time.